everybody, welcome back to the video. I'm Papalth and Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. So today, we're back, we're doing more stuff. We have lots of rewards to collect, because we always do. Which is not a bad thing, at all. I'm definitely not going to say it's a bad thing. Continuing on with our seasonal missions, all this stuff. Some stamina jellies to collect, which is good. I saved these for the videos, for the most part, because, well, the videos are the only times we actually ever have any chance of actually running out. So we do have some gotchas to do nothing crazy. We have five treasure draws because train. This is my only answer. Train gives so many of these. Hey, a jelly watch. Can we get one more? No. That's not that surprising. And two cookie draws. So this is more exciting. Okay, no epic. Probably no rare. Yeah, we're good. No more common. Or soul stones. It could, like, it could be pretty good. We could still get, like, epic soul stones. So it's not like we don't get anything good. It's just we probably don't. Rare soul stones. At least it's not common ones. I guess there's that. One more cookie draw. Yeah, still no. Rare or epic cookie. So, once again, we can still get epic soul stones. We can still get something good from this. We just probably won't. Yeah, probably not. Um, yeah, one common soul stone. That's definitely not that great. So, one thing I do quickly want to say thank you is, um, what? 540 subscribers? Which is a crazy big deal. Um, so, yeah, I just quickly want to say thank you for that. That's a little big. I had a good video the other day, and it's doing well for our channel's growth. Um, because, you know, March is pretty much done. Like, there's a couple days left. But 540 is really good. If we could make it to 550, which I still think we might be able to do, it would be very tight. But if we could do it, that would be incredible. Um, and then, yeah, that would be great. Because the, if you don't know, the channel's anniversary is, like, mid to late April, so we're getting close. If we could make it 600, 650 maybe, that would be a little high. But if we could do 650, that would be insane. Or if not, probably not 600. It would be super great still. So, you know, thought I'd keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so today we're gonna do some more of the story mode because last time I tried to do that and stupid recording decided, no, you're not gonna do that. So we're gonna do some for real or with you this time. They were still done, I suppose. Um, and if we get a lot of gems, which we probably will, then we might do some gotchas, more gotchas later as well. So let's just get started, because why not? Ooh, epic ceiling raspberry. I always love that you can get those. They, like, the rewards are just so much better. Um, yeah, let's just get started. I hope your day's been pretty good. It's Monday, and blah, 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 it's Monday, but I hope you guys enjoyed your day nonetheless. Um, my day hasn't been great today. Just nothing too great happened. Just a little bit slow, a little bit blah. I don't know. Do you use the word slash expression blah? Is it a word or is it an expression? Kind of both. I mean, it's definitely an expression. But is blah a word? Probably. I mean, I guess it depends what you classify a word as. But do you use blah? I'm curious. Because it's something I use a lot. Um, quite often I'll be like, today was blah. Or... I don't know, I just, I'm in a blah kind of mood or something like that. It's just sort of like a boring or dull or a lackluster sort of thing. Like, do you use that word? Or do you, have you not, if you haven't heard about that, I'm curious too. Like, have you heard of it? Do you use it? Do you know someone that uses that? I'm just curious. Social experiment, I suppose. Because, well, I really like the word and it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of meaning, a lot of different meanings, I suppose. It can be a bit confusing, but... So pretty good. Third dark totem. So if you don't know what's happening, which you probably don't, because we missed the last time. Um, basically, in order to save the sacred pomegranate, like, tree thing. Or is it the sacred pomegranate tree, or is it just the sacred tree? Might just be the sacred tree. Might be two separate things. We have to defeat these, like, four dark totems that are casting, like, a protective curse around it. So we have to basically, at each of these, we have to kill these dark totems to get a piece of the sacred tree and then we place that on like a totem you know a normal totem uncursed or whatever and that weakens like curse or whatever so if we get all four we can break the curse and then i think we go to battle pomegranate cookie we slash the tree we might be fighting the cursed tree not entirely sure but that's what we're doing this is the third totem we've already gotten two this one will be the third then we have one more to go um but yeah i wonder if it do you think it's just random which like because I think there's two, maybe three of the different, like, intro screens for a level. 
There's um, there's the one where Ginger Brave is eating XP jellies. There's that one of like the team across the map. And I think there's a third one of your castle, but I'm not quite sure. Do you think it's random which one they choose, or do you think it's designated for each level? I'm sure that I'm like I know for a fact there's a really easy way to test that, and it's simply called go like replay a level, which I've done. Not most of these levels, but I've done it that for some of them. Um. And I still couldn't tell you because I don't think I ever paid attention, but I'm curious. Do they repeat them? They might. They probably do, right? Like, I have to assume it's just random. Dark Totem Boss, anyways, so, um, yeah. This has 100,000 health. That's really So we killed the Dark Totem and it was just like a black board, or like a crushed board inside. I mean, I guess that makes sense because these totems are good, I think. They really gave us one. They give us a defense, a normal defense powder. For episode 6, closer to the end of it. What on earth am I going to do with that? Like, how is that going to be useful? Whatever. Prepared. Yeah, we get one of these secret branches. They're cool. Lots of coins. Lots of XP. We're totally going to level up to another level. Even though I'm nowhere near prepared yet. But whatever. Once we reach level 35, then it doesn't matter. Onward, those levels are literally just increase your max stamina jelly. Which is helpful, I guess. Anyways. Another totem gone. It means that there's only one left. Let's do it, friends. Stick in the third sacred tree branch on the altar and, you know, another 300,000 XP. I'm really surprised that didn't level us. Okay, well, this level us up. No. Well, this will also... Okay, no, now we level up. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, oh, we also get stamina jellies for free? I didn't know that. And this will also give us 330,000 XP from the quest. Why? Uh, don't ask me. Honestly, don't ask me. But, let us continue on. Ooh, another epic sweet candy. That's one of the ones I like as well. Okay, let's get in here. Ready, set, crash. That's it. Ready, set, crash. That's what happened. Whatever. Let's go. Don't crash again. Okay, we're fine. Fine. Continuing on in our adventure. Um, but yeah, so I think my goal for today is at the very least to defeat this fourth dark totem. I think I have six, maybe seven guild gotchas to do. We will probably end up doing another ten time or eight times ten draw for the cookies. because uh, we're probably gonna get a lot more gems today. Which is good. Whenever we actually do one of these designated, like full on, ignore the building stuff, because I do it off camera, just walking on stages, we get a lot of gems, which means we make progress in cookies, means we pull cookies, and means we get all that great stuff and it's really terrific. Um but yeah, so I think that's the plan for today. Who knows, maybe this will finally be the day we get Queen Puff Cookie. Then you'll all be sad because I have her and you don't. But at least someone, can, at least then you can see it. Um, and then I'll actually be happy because then I'll have my team fully completed. Then I have to forfeit leveling anyone else up to 42 so I can get her to 42. Maybe. I'm not so sure that's true. That, that, that would be a very streamlined, happy way of having this video but because we're opening those at the end um oh yeah they can also show the cookie trailers yeah it's totally different but because we're doing those at the end if we actually did pull her i'd we probably have to wait till the next video to actually see it happen unfortunately anyways custard cookie something sweet must be ahead it smells so delicious another poisonous mushroom perhaps hmm no trust me we don't trust you gah Oh no, Custard Cookie the Third has fallen into a trap. I love how they refer to him as Custard Cookie the Third. I know that's his name, but still. Has fallen into a trap. Girl. Oh, the cookie verse plant. I'm so sorry. I should have said goodbye first. That's not the problem. This is the most vile of all cookie verse plants. It can lure cookies into the trap with its sweet fragrance. Once again, Custard Cookie, you're wrong. Well, I guess it actually was sweet spawning this time, but you're still wrong. Oh no, the plant's gonna eat Custer Cookie the third. I love how he is like just a strip of white hair, Gingerbread. I will save him. White Lily Cookie, be careful. Okay, I mean, I guess that's just happening in the background. Can you imagine if you had, like, going back to one of those random things, they would just be funny and would just add a little entertainment, even though I know they're never gonna do them. How cool would it be if you had Custer Cookie the third in your party? And doing the stage, he leaves. Like, you, he instantly dies or whatever. How cool would that be? It was, like, only disabled until partway through the level. Like, they could do so much. I don't know. 
I just, I love to think about all the wonderful things, various things they could do with this game. I know they're probably gonna add candies, or hopefully gonna add, like, candies and weapons and, like, the legendaries and stuff like that, which is all gonna be great. But there's still, like, even beyond that, there's so much other stuff, so much variety that they can do. Which is good, because, you know, with if I keep doing episodes like these, which I probably will, though I think next time is probably gonna be some more serious story stuff, because, um, once I finish... Almond Cookie, we're going to be doing all of the torches I have saved up and all of his, like, video recordings that I've recorded. So, going to be a big story episode coming up soon. Might be next time, might be the time after, but definitely going to be happening soon. Hey, 500 gems. Oh, and lots of XP and gold again. Custer Cookie the Third, you alright? Yeah, but my crown is bent. I'll probably be so, like, cheerful about that. You have to thank White Lily Cookie for your rescue. Yeah, you're lucky the White Lily Cookie knows so much about plants. White Lily Cookie, thank you. It's only natural for friends to help each other. I'm happy to have found friends in you. Hehe, <laughs> am I blushing? Yes, you are, Ginger Rave. Um, but yeah, 500 gems. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, three more stages to go. More epics, but no good epics this time. I mean, damage resistance isn't bad. If I brought that milk cookie, I'd want him. But... Though, and also, I do- I am well aware that a lot of people still think I should put it on Dark Choco. Dang, which is sense. I understand why, but I'm probably not going to, because he does really good damage. Could that be because he has all max damage, like, um, toppings? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility, but I like to believe that's not what it is. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just out of curiosity to you, because I'm thinking it over. I think that it would be kind of cool. Um... Have you played the game Crush Them All? Just out of curiosity. It's a mobile, it's like an idol RPG thing. I'm not talking about me playing it. I have played it, and I do play it, but I don't play it on the channel. Um, but their weapon system, I could fe I feel like something like that would be perfect for this game. Because this game has classes, it sort of has like different weapon variants and stuff like that. Because if you don't know what they do... It wouldn't go perfectly, but they have like an elemental and then more of a class, like based item. So with this game they could do a class based one and they could also have one that's based on maybe like the cookie's nature. Like it could be dark, um, light, intermediate, wild, something like they could do like nature of the cookie and then the like class. So like wizards would use wizard weapon something. Wizard stones or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like it would be a cool system for their weapons. Though they could do pretty much anything. They could do it kinda like their candies though I'm assuming they're gonna do their candy system like their candies. If they don't add candies into this game, that's just a missing, like a missed opportunity. Same thing with weapons, but I mean, candies more so, because they've already added candies in their other games. If you have candies in one game, why not add candies in the other game? People want them, people will love them. Maybe that's the next big update. After all, I heavily suspect that something like Kumaho cookies is gonna happen for Easter, because it's coming up. Easter is next Sunday getting very, very close. I have a feeling that they're totally gonna do something like Kumaho Cookie for Easter. And who knows? If they're gonna add candies, although yes, I guess there's a lot of good times to do that. Easter's definitely one of the better times to add candies. Though, I mean, if they're not ready, obviously they should wait until they are, well, ready. Um, yeah, let's keep on going here with these stages. I still love these enemies, like with their dark laser beams and so cool. I love them. They're really cool enemies. I know I've said that a lot, but I have to say it again. Well, I don't know if I have. Once again, I'm a little confused. <laughs> Sorry about this, because I recorded the other video, and it feels like I did these things, some of these things, and said some of these things, even though I know you haven't actually heard them yet. So, sorry if it's a bit confusing, or if I mess up on something. Wait, was that the last stage, or was there one more stage in this, in this totem? One more stage, okay, here's the boss. Fourth Dark Totem. We're going to kill you. And then, and then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna kill you. And then, you're going to rescue the totem and break the curse and open Gil Gotcha. And then, and then you'll have to wait a couple days because that's just how it's gonna work. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm having fun going more focused into the story because for a while, after the guild update and all that stuff, we were doing all the stories and all those things took so long. We really weren't making much progress with the storyline, but I mean, with this video and the video that never came out, unfortunately, um, 
seri we're making serious progress walking through stage six. Most of it will be done in two videos. Uh, I know we did the first three stages in one, and then we missed like 14 or 15. No, 14 or 15? 12. I think we missed like 12, which is still a lot, but it's not that many. Anyways, Dark Totem complete. Time to put the totem thing. Time for you to give us like 700,000 XP. Time for me to level up again. Yeah, we're gonna reach like, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mind reaching level 35, because then I just have free realm. Like, then it's like, oh, well, I'm at the level I need to be, now it doesn't really matter what I do. The 20,000 coins is obvious. It's also helpful because I'm working on all of my landmarks. I want to get them, at least all of the useful ones, to level 9 before I upgrade my cookie castle. Is it smart? No idea. But then next cookie castle level, we can get all of my monks to level 10. The max level, which is exciting. Anyways. Finally, all the four totems destroyed. Awesome. Let's cleanse this last spot and run back to the central altar. Yes, yes, I know you want me to do that. It's the quest for whatever I'm doing it. Okay, you don't have to give me a quest, though I do appreciate the rewards. Ooh. Look, the barrier around the sacred tree is gone. Without the totems, the magic flows have been disrupted. I'm pretty sure the boss of this stage is the tree, though, so not so sure how much the magic's been disrupted. I'm worried about the sugar swan. Oh, is the sugar swan the boss? I almost forgot about that. Um, 6-28 tainted treetop. See, like, it's called tainted treetop. Like, look at this. The boss, it, it, sugar swan tree could really honestly it could be either one anyways we're doing guild gotcha please don't crash it didn't crash oh, incredible. okay so we have six guild gotchas to do let's do them what are we gonna get what are we gonna get what are we gonna get please cream puff please cream puff i know i say that every time but every single time i want cream puff one day likely not today but one day eventually we're gonna get cream puff and one day eventually it's gonna be awesome, and I'm gonna be excited, and all that great stuff. One day, eventually. That's all I can say. Do they always have that music? They have, like, a weird, like, hum whenever you use the guild gotcha. Like, listen. Was that always there? Because I swear I do not remember. Oh, That's small. That's great. Um, but I swear I do not remember that noise, like, that hum being there before. Maybe I just never really listened all that well to this, but whatever. These are actually fairly significant amounts of XP jellies. Oh, but this is our last kill gotcha. Come on. Make it epic. Final one. Queen Puff. Queen Puff. No, Flames of Unity. That's, that's not that surprising. Whatever. Woke up upgrading the guild. Um, yeah. I really love the coin product. Honestly, I know the sacred torches and whatever, they're helpful, but the coin production and the buffs. But the coin production, it's such a big deal. Okay, do we do one more stage here? Mmm, undecided. You know what? No, we're gonna do a 10 times draw quickly. 10 times cookie draw, and that'll be it for today. So, well, let's do it. Draw. Did they just steal 3,000 gems from me? Game, did you just steal 3,000 gems? I know I've lost occasional cookie cutters, and I know I've lost, like, yeah, I've lost some cookie cutters to this, like, single draws. Every once in a while, they do add up, and they're annoying. But a 10 times draw game, a 10 times draw that you drain my gems from and give me nothing. At least I don't think they, maybe they do give you the drops and they just, you just don't know. It's possible. But, like, my gems are gone and if we go to my cookies, I don't notice any significant differences. Like, I, I don't know. Did, I didn't show this off at the beginning, so I wouldn't really know. Um, I don't know, but 3,000 gems game, like, that's, that's a lot, that's a big deal, I don't accept that, at all, can we level up espresso one more time, that would be a decent way to end, yeah, We're leveling up espresso once, can't do the other level, the other level is way too expensive, not way too expensive, but it's too expensive, so, upgrade espresso once, well, game stole 3,000 gems, I guess, hey, we have another thumbnail, or title, or something, might use that one. Anyways, please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe and join the Pop Elfin Squad, it makes my day, it's super nice, and I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!